Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day everyone. Before I start, I would like to introduce you myself. My name is Salsa Bila Fawzi Mahfuz, and I will be the representative of this research team to present this research paper entitled The Fact of Yeast Consortium on Chemical Properties of Fermented Dried Cocoa Beans Theobroma Cacao L. And I will discuss the introduction, the research methodology, and the research, the results and discussions, and also the conclusions of this research paper. Introductions. Cocoa beans are known to be the main ingredients in the process of making chocolate. There are several cocoa producing countries in the world, and Indonesia is one of them. However, cocoa beans in Indonesia are generally produced from form and form dry cocoa beans without the fermentation process. In this case, because cocoa beans fermentation process took a quite long time and uh, farmers in Indonesia does not uh, want to do that. And fermented and introduction. Cocoa beans are known to be the main ingredients in the process of making chocolate. And there are several cocoa beans producing countries in the world, and Indonesia is one of them. However, uh, in Indonesia, the cocoa beans are generally produced in form of dried cocoa beans without the fermentation process. Um, it is because uh, the process of the fermentation is still quite a long time, and the farmer uh, does not like to do that, and they just sell it in the form of dried cocoa beans without fermentations. But in several um, farmers, they do uh, a fermentations process, but carry it out in a spontaneous way. Uh, however, the spontaneous fermentations of cocoa bean does not always have provide a good quality of cocoa beans and can lead to unwanted mold growth and can cause loss of taste, spoilage and the presence of mycotoxins. And the fermentation uh, of cocoa beans can be assisted by the use of the starter from the microbial cultures. And one of the microbes that can be used is yeast. Yeast is known to be the dominant microorganisms at the initial time in the cocoa beans fermentation process. In the fermentation process, yeast can utilize sugar and pulp, which can produce ethanol and with the help of enzymes to degrade pectin contained in the pulp. And the protease activity produced by the yeast can also be responsible for producing the cool taste uh, of cocoa beans. And several yeasts are commonly found in spontaneous fermentations, and a lot of them can be used as a starter culture to do the controlled fermentations. And the composition of yeast in fermentation is known to directly determine the development of aromatic flavor of chocolate flavor. Um, the use of starter cultures in cocoa fermentations, uh, the use of starter cultures in cocoa fermentations has been carried out in the middle of the 20th century. Since then, different microbial species have been proposed as a candidate starter culture strains, especially yeast microbial species. Based on this background, the study aims to determine the effect of the combinations of the yeast consortium and the quality of the cocoa beans by evaluating the values of the temperature, pH, total polyphenol, and the activity, reducing sugars and the fermentation index. Next one is the methodology. Um, this one is sample collections. We collect these cocoa dried cocoa bean samples from Pusat Penelitian Kopi and Cacao Indonesia, Fukuoka. Uh, and then we rejuvenate our yeast isolates. In this research, we use six ty four types of uh, yeast isolates, namely PKA code of ZPE, CCY 156, we namely code A, and the PKA code to LATA, CCY 144, we code it B, B. The third one is Sakharam Jaseri PCIA, which is Y87, and we code it C. And the fourth one is PTSSSMNCIS, which is Y157, and we code it D. 
And after we rejuvenate the yeast isolate, we prepare the yeast starter. And then after we have the starter of yeast, we ferment the cocoa beans and inoculating the yeast starter. And then after the fermentation is conducted, we uh, we do some analysis during the fermentations. We do some analysis of pH, the temperature, reducing sugar, total polyphenol, antioxidant activity, and the fermentation index. This is the results and discussions. First one, there are the temperature. Temperatures and, and pH are the important factors for evaluating the progress of fermentations. Temperature itself is an indicator of the success of the fermentation process. And naturally, the fermentation process was initially characterized with slowly increasing temperature, and in the middle it experienced a drastic increase and became static towards the end of fermentations. In the result of the study on the changes in temperature during the 48 hour fermentations with the 24 hour intervals, on the six treatment combinations showed that the temperatures increased slowly and the first uh, day and then increase again in the second day of the fermentations. And the increase uh, from the 24 hour to the 48 hour reached the temperature of 29 until 35 degrees Celsius. The one is the pH and the pH of the cocoa bean is an important physical chemical properties because it gives an indication of the degree of the acid acidification of the cocoa beans during fermentation and the quality of the fermentations. In this study, the pH of the combinations of the yeast consortium of code ABD and the ABCD had a pH at the constant rate increasing during the fermentation process with the final pH value of the fermentation 6 and 7. This can happen because it's a, a yeast um, gave a uh, breakdown the sugars and make some citric acids that can cause the increase of the pH accompanied by an increase in temperature due to the heat that arises in alcoholic fermentations. And the condition at the stage of optimal fermentation condition for growth of uh, another microbial in anaerobic state. And the next one is reducing sugars. In cocoa beans, the sugar content in the, in the beans is sucrose, glucose, and fructose. And sucrose is the main component and followed by fructose and glucose, which make up about 6% of the total sugars. Based on the result, the study, the, re the reducing sugar content of the combinations of inoculum encode ABC, ABD, ACD, and BCD, and the negative control increased until the end of fermentations. With, the, with reducing sugar level ranging from 5.1 to 6.7 milligrams per gram in the figure number three. Where the combination treatment of ABD inoculum experienced an increase in the highest reducing sugar content of 4.5 milligrams per gram from 2.3 to 6.7. And this is in line with the research of Afu Aqua. Uh, where the reducing sugars content increase uh, in the end of fermentations. And the reducing sugar is the precursor of the carbonyl aroma in fermented cocoa beans, which is mainly produced by hydrolysis of sucrose and fructose and glucose. The increase in reducing sugars concentrations with uh, uh, it may be due to the hydrolysis of the sucrose into glucose and fructose by the infertized enzyme. And however, reducing sugars can also be formed by enzymatic hydrolysis of anthocyanin to yield arabinose and galactose by the actions of the glycosidase enzymes. And the production of the reducing sugars uh, during fermentations is very important because these sugars will react with peptides and free amino acids in the Maillard reaction during drying and roasting to produce the characteristic of, characteristic of cocoa flavor compound. The next one is the total polyphenols. Um, the cocoa bean itself, uh, the polyphenol of the cocoa bean itself is comprising 12 until 18% of the total bean weight and half long being associated with the taste and color of the chocolate. And based on this result, the treatment of ABC, ABD, ACD, and BCD has increased in the first 24 hour fermentations and then decreased in 48 hour fermentations. Meanwhile, the ABCD and negative control has decreased in the first 24 hours and increased in the end of the fermentations. 
The total polyphenol levels with the highest increase were recorded in the PCD treatment, which was 33.7 milligrams per grams, and the total polyphenol content with the lowest increase was found in the ABD treatment, which was 22.03 milligrams per grams. And the results in this experiment are in agreement with reports of fermented beans where fermentation led to an increase in phenolic contents of a seed, such beans, or car seeds and coffee. In their natural form, phenolic compounds uh, are combined or bonded with sugars, which reduces their availability to organisms. During fermentations, proteolytic enzymes from starter organisms hydrolyze phenolic complexes into simple and freely soluble phenols and more biologically active forms, which are readily to be absorbed. Next one is the antioxidant activity. Based on the results of this research, the antioxidant activity test, uh, there were two trends in the yield at the end of fermentations, namely an increase and an increase of the percentage of the antioxidant activity. The percentage of the antioxidant activity in cocoa beans with the combinations of ABC, ACD, and BCD increased uh, their activity the antioxidant as much as 0.024%. 0.033% and 0.027% respectively, while the percentage of antioxidant activity with the combinations of inoculum ABD, ABCD, and negative control decreased antioxidant activity. Factors that affect the antioxidant activity of fermented cocoa product products are the breakdown of polyphenol components, which are influenced by the microflora and temperature and time of fermentations. In this study, the factors that are thought to be the most dominant are the conditions of fermentation, fermentation time and the condition of the microflora and the quality of the, co the cocoa plant use. This is in line with uh, some research, uh, the longer of the fermentation treatment time, the less the antioxidant activity. And the DTPH radical inhibitor activity decreased with longer fermentations, which means that the decrease of in antioxidant activity was due to the decrease in the polyphenols. And polyphenols are the main components of the cocoa beans that play a role in antioxidant activity. And during fermentation, the decrease in polyphenol content was also due to the biochemical modification through polymerizations and complexations with proteins. It also can reduce solubility and the astringency of the cocoa beans. And um, the last one is the result of the fermentation index. Um, value we're, we're seen from the ratio of the absorbance ratio of 40 to 40. Next one is the fermentation index. With all of the three use combination treatment of this research, it all has increased the value of the fermentation index and 24 hour, in 24 hours of the first fermentation time. And in this result, the combination of BCD and ABD had the largest fermentation index value uh, of 1.16 for the combinations of BCD yeast, uh, 1.11 in ABD yeast. The last one is conclusions. Is on this result of this old study, the final temperatures of the yeast treatment was signal average from 32 until 33.6 degrees Celsius, and the pH value was constantly increasing in the combinations of ABD and ABCD with the pH value of 6 and 7. And the combinations of ABD treatment, ABD treatment, also obtain the highest polyphenol content and it is uh, increased the reducing sugar at the value 6.7 milligrams per grams and total polyphenols value 23 and 0.18 milligrams per grams. And the lowest antioxidant activity was obtained in the combination cell, ABD and ABCD. And in base on this results, uh, we conclude that the treatment with ABD yeast combinations has the best fermentation stability. In addition, the fermentation process using dry peas provides faster fermentation results using 48 hours of fermentation times. I think that's all uh, from our presentations. I would like to say thank you for your attentions. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.